afternoon everybody gator here again how's everybody doing we are in the garden state today at a very interesting place called the goat hill preserve it's part of the washington crossing historic park here in new jersey and we're going to be heading out to some overlooks of the delaware river looking west towards pennsylvania and I just happened to be looking at Google Maps and I saw this on the map and I wanted to check it out. It wasn't too far of a drive for me. It's a warm, humid afternoon in July, like July often is around here. But um, it's about six o'clock. We got about two hours of daylight and I'm excited to explore this park. It has some interesting history. I'll be telling you about it as we walk. And uh, let's go for an adventure. Let's see what we see. Let's hit the trail. Gator out. All right, so there are several trails here, but 90% of the people take the basic trail that takes you right to the most popular overlook, which is known as the Goat Hill Overlook. And that's about a half mile trail. We're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna try, try, excuse me, we're gonna try following this looping trail that cuts through the woods here a little bit. And um, we're gonna try to find a couple other overlooks besides the main one, and hopefully we'll end up at that main overlook when we finish. So one of the things I find really uh, interesting about this place and I'm looking forward to is the historical fact that George Washington stood upon these bluffs during the Revolutionary War and used the prominence and it's all encompassing view to do some scouting and some reconnaissance during the Revolutionary War. Well, I'm starting to see some openings and possibly some views out to the right, so I'm excited about that. Matter of fact, here's a little side trail. Let's see where it takes us. Well, it really is, really is hot out here, guys. Um, looks like we're about to see our first overlook. And this isn't the main overlook of the park, but um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you the walk into the south lookout, which would be heading, looking basically towards the city of Philadelphia, basically, south towards Pennsylvania and the Delaware River. Let's check it out. Well, I know I'm sweating bullets here. I hope it's worth it. But here we go. I'll raise you up as high as I can so you can get the best unobstructed view over the vegetation. So another interesting thing I learned when I started to do, to do some research on this Goat Hill Overlook is that there is a range of low-lying hills hitting an elevation of about 500 feet that start here on this prominence and rise into central New Jersey in a northeasterly direction known as the Sourlands. And I've never heard of it, and I would imagine most people even in this area have never heard of it. But there's a lot of information online about this region and there is, seems to be a lot of hiking opportunities and different preserves and parks and possibly some future explorations uh, could be coming our way from this region. Well, this is a nice, cool section of 
towering trees and the birds are chirping and it's almost completely shaded. It feels about 10 degrees cooler than when you're out in the sun. Certainly when we were on that rock, the sun was baking. It was like a, it was like a baked potato up there. <laughs> well, check this out guys. I think we are at a place I wasn't even expecting to come across. I think this is known as the old quarry site. And you can see here, these rocks. Part of the history of this preserve is the fight between the commercial and business interests that wanted to exploit the area for its resources and the community which wanted to preserve it for its scenic beauty. And you can definitely, definitely see evidence here that we are in a quarry. These type of stone would have been used and crushed down to use as the crushed, crushed stone, which is a common foundation stone for highways, buildings, and it's a subgrade for concrete and blacktop. Just clear evidence all around us that we were in a once uh, mined and excavated area. It's awesome. It's amazing how nature reclaims the nature reclaims the land. Beautiful. All right, coming to our next prominence here and this appears to be marked on the map as the old quarry overlook. You can see all the little stone as we've been saying and the Delaware River down there. Looks like some nice rapids there. Looks like somewhere right after that uh, lookout, the trail got real sketchy and it's not clearly blazed at this point. I'm not even sure if I'm on the trail or a game trail. I know I'm roughly following the ridge line, but I'm definitely not on a trail at this point. But I'm going to keep pushing forward. Could this rock here, could this rock indeed be Washington's rock? The rock where the great general, the father of America, once stood. Will we stand in his footsteps? Overlooking the river. I'm not really sure. I'm not quite convinced. I'll pretend that it is though. I'm feeling a little more confident about this overlook here. I think this, <clears throat> I believe this is going to be Washington's rock. I think it's safe to say now, we are standing on the rock where the man, the myth, the legend stand it. General George Washington, as he surveilled the Pennsylvania bank and his soldiers perhaps or his encampment and it's a nice view again not the nicest view I've ever seen but um, supposedly the Goat Hill overlook the final overlook is going to be the best one so we'll see back up the trail and onward towards the Goat Hill overlook well, we're coming back out to the main trail, so we made our loop. We started on the yellow trail. It then turned into the white trail, which followed along the, the hillside. Now we're back on the main trail, which as you can see is almost like a road. It's wide open and clear. And this is the path everyone takes to the top to watch the sunset.
guys. There you have it. Go build preserve. Overlook. You can see it's a very popular area, especially with the younger younger crowd. All nice people up here, all relaxing. Look like mostly like students. It's a Thursday. I was gonna come up here on a Saturday, but imagine how much more packed it would be then. But um, it's an impressive overlook. It's pretty striking when you first walk up to it because you have this view that looks down the river, looking north, looking up river. And uh, it really catches your eye and the two bridges down there as well. But um, it's cool for this area. Uh, it, it was a good experience. It's probably beautiful in the fall. Of course, everything is beautiful in the fall. But um, this was something a little different for me, a weekday uh, trip. Like I said, not too far to get to. Right on the other side of the, uh, uh, it's in New Jersey, right on the other side of uh, New Hope. So you have Lambertville directly below us and you have New Hope and Bucks County on the other side. So that's gonna be it for tonight. Gonna go home, get something to eat and uh, try to get some fluids in me before I go back to work tomorrow. So until next time, see you on the trail. Be safe out there, be smart out there. Gator out.